Hi, it's Elbel. Um, we've been kind of focusing on the kitchen and I keep getting different uh, content ideas just to kind of go with things. So since I gave you a kitchen tour earlier and we've been going over how I organize my one and only drawer that holds silverware and everything like that. Um, I thought, and dishes, of course, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I've also done. Um, what I've done to make yet another storage space is I took these little pitcher frame holder things that you can get. If you can see that, those are just, um, I mean, they're from Dollar Tree. They're just pitcher hanging kit and they have the little, the little screws and the little thing you can, the little hook that you nail into the wall. Um, but I took some of those and put them in the wall and then I used one of these little, um, rounded hooks underneath here and tied it with a string to hold this little basket, which is also from Dollar Tree. I love those things. They are just the greatest basket. They come in a couple different colors. I have another one here for um, flour and different supplies that's green, but I put a blue one over here. And um, it can't hold much, of course, because it's just attached to the wall with a picture hanger and um, <laughs> this yarn, which actually stretches a lot more than I thought it would do, so I just had to redo it. But I have it set up, and it mostly, it stays on there pretty good. Sometimes I have to adjust it a little bit if I'm grabbing too much. But I've been throwing my kitchen rags and whatever I use to scrub. I just use regular washcloths typically. Those are the, the yogurt bowls and uh, <laughs> pans that are soaking from previously. Um, and that gives me a little bit more space. I have easy go-to, um, a basic cotton terry cloth, um, washcloth like that. You can get like a, a big stack of them at Walmart for really cheap. I know, Walmart, 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 but it's where I'm at right now. I'd love to get some eco-friendly, fair trade, whatever, organic cotton, uh, but that's what I got. I try to use the uh, Dollar Tree microfibers as little as possible because I didn't realize how harmful those could be for the environment. Um, but I love these too because they're great as um, oven mitts. I have oven mitts. As you can see, I just have them pulled um, on a hook here that I also screwed into the wall. Um, it's a slight fire hazard because if they were to fall on a burner... But so far, it hasn't caused any issue. Um, my apartment comes with this little thing that if it catches on fire, it releases a bunch of um, powder or something that basically puts out the fire. Um, so far, it's been all right. Um, if someone has some suggestions on a better solution, let me know. But so far, that's worked, and I've had that there for a while. Hasn't been an issue. I can always, of course, tear them down and throw them someplace else if I'm worried. But if all those are in the wash, which is usually the case, as there's more now that are still in the laundry, um, these terry cloth towels are great to use as a um, oven mitt. You just fold them or whatever so I can come and grab them. And of course, I can just put them on the counter. But I have tons. I just, I have tons. And as you can see, I am anti-fold. These are dishcloths. These are my rags. Um... I I am zero waste in the fact that in this tiny kitchen, and for years now, I have not had paper towels. I think paper towels are a waste of money. In my adult life, I've bought maybe one or two rolls a year. If there's something that's coming up, then I might need them. But otherwise, and I'll, I'll send them to school if they're on the kids' school list. But otherwise, mm -mm, I don't buy them. I use a paper towel, mop it up. Uh, my washer's right there, so I can literally, you know, clean something up, throw it in the wash. It's not dirty, but there it goes in the wash. Um, it's very simple. My kids, they don't even ask for paper towels. They ask for uh, a towel. Um, I have 
uh, on my dining room table, I do have a basket of paper, na of not paper napkins, cloth napkins. Um, they've become very unfancy because, you know, they get, they get paint and art supplies from them on them and they get washed. So some of them are very, very well worn, but it's not an issue. It's just, it's been one of the easiest things to go zero waste paper free on because I just have a couple dozen washcloths from Walmart or wherever. I think some of these I might have had when I got my own place when I first started college. So they might have moved around the country with me for over a decade now and may last from my childhood. I'm not even sure. But I just use those. Very easy. I can scrub. Um, I don't have, you know, there's less bacterial concerns because it's not a sponge. You know, when it gets a little yucky, it just it just goes in the laundry pile. If the, if the wash is open, I can throw it in. Otherwise, I just throw it in with uh, my regular clothes. Hamper and, yeah. Uh, try that out if you're a, a paper towel addict or a paper uh, napkin addict. Um, just try some regular washcloths. Um, I don't use washcloths, um, for personal bathing much anymore. Once in a while I use it, but again, it's getting washed immediately. So I'm not as worried about it. Um, but I don't use those on a regular basis. I don't keep a, a washcloth in my bath or anything. I have one specific facial towel that I use and, um, that's what I have. So they're mostly all dishes. The kids have washcloths in their bathroom, but I know to keep those separate from my household kitchen rags washcloths because those are all Disney, the little, you know, those little, they're like the heart shapes or whatever, the expandable magic washcloths. So I got them, I get them a bunch of those from time to time as stocking stuffers and whatnot. And they all have Disney characters on it. So if I know, if it's a Disney character washcloth, it doesn't go in here. It goes into uh, their room in their laundry pile uh, for them to put away. Um, and that's how I keep things separate. Keep it easy. Um, I also did this. Um, I have the coffee maker and whatnot underneath it. So far, it hasn't been any kind of fire hazard right there. Um, it also helps that it's right next to the sink. I mean, I can squirt water and pretty much anything in this small kitchen with just that. Um, but it's worked so far and seems to, it seems to help. Just got, you know, under cabinet, uh, storage there. Um, I just throw everything in there. It doesn't need to be sorted. Once in a while I get on a kick where I organize it, make it all pretty and uh, color coordinated, but yeah. Um, see what you think. Let me know if, uh, if the washcloth challenge helps. See if you can cut down on um, some of your paper towel or paper napkin use or maybe even eliminate it. Um, I really haven't found reason and I didn't even start that as like a, a weird hippy dippy thing I was always that way but in college I I would add up the price of paper towels and I wasn't I wasn't gonna spend my money on bounty that that, that was I beer money and more importantly ice cream money Ben and Jerry's is getting my money not not bounty sorry bounty man all right y'all take care Thanks.